uh, welcome to Sidekick AI. So you just started your, your trial, uh, and what I wanna do in this video is just walk you through how to use Sidekick. So I just wanna say thank you so much for downloading and doing the trial. My name is Chris, um, I'm one of the original founders of Sidekick, and uh, let's just jump right into it. So as you see, you're gonna connect your source, and once you connect your source, you're gonna be taken to the main dashboard. Now, what you'll notice about the dashboard is we take you to the meetings page. Here, you can see that you have your displayed accounts right here. Um, here, your meeting cards will be pulled up. You can filter through that. But uh, instead of a, you know, a tour of all the features, let's show you how to schedule Sidekick because that's what you want to do. You want to schedule meetings. So um, what you could do is you could schedule three different ways. So you could use your, your link share where you could share your link, your scheduling link with somebody else. You could use forward to schedule and you could basically forward that email of when people wanna um, meet with you, send that to your sidekick and then sidekick will begin the booking process for you. Or you could do sidekick scheduling. So basically you just fill out some of this information, sidekick is gonna go out and it's gonna book that meeting for you. Um, now with the link share, what I wanna, what I wanna get into, and oh, by the way, we do have explainers on YouTube and we have walkthroughs of how to do each of these in more depth. Um, but what I wanna show you really quick is when you get into this trial, you could add as many accounts as you want. So uh, now I'll give you the product tour of the dashboard. So here we hover and we have settings, connected sources, uh, contact support, if you wanna chat with us, sign out. Um, but what we're gonna do right here is we're going to go to connected sources. So you could go ahead and you could connect um, Right now, currently Google and Outlook, we are in the process of building out more of these, um, you know, and you could disconnect, connect. So that's connecting multiple sources, update. We do have other apps that are gonna be put in here, like Zoom, so that's gonna be really awesome. Um, and then here, if you wanna customize this, this link up here, up there, uh, if you wanna customize this link, you just go to settings, and then basically go to preferences and manage your preferences. Um, and then what I'll show you here is, here's where you could update and configure your, your link share, your scheduling share, right? Um, so here your inbound link, whatever you wanna change that to. So I'll just change this up different. And you don't have to click save, it's gonna auto save. Um, here, you know, phone conference numbers, you know, pins, um, time zone. Uh, so you can, you can configure that here. So inbound link was updated. Uh, so we'll click out of that. Uh, and then here I'm gonna walk through really quick uh, your availability. So here you could set default availability. Uh, so when you, you know, forward that email for Sidekick, say, hey, Sidekick, go figure out this meeting. Basically what's gonna happen is Sidekick is gonna pick within these, these time blocks. Um, you could set up, you know, default preferences, right? Um, on you know durations of meetings you could even book time away so basically if you have vacations coming up you're going to conferences whatever it is you could basically have this time away so then sidekick won't book meetings or you know if you have your link share that's somewhere floating around somebody clicks book to meet you have your time away block booked you know they're not gonna book that so um, here we have contacts so you could see you know, individual contacts, click to, uh, you, could, you could block them, turn on auto scheduling, click to book a meeting. Um, and here you could also have groups as well. So you can create groups and then book a meeting within groups. Here we have locations, so you could set some of your favorite locations. Uh, we also have a, a first generation 1.0 stats page. Uh, we're gonna make this a little uh, better, but here we have the, the stats page as well. Um, and then over here we have your action items. So, you know, if Sidekick ever does get stuck, um, you know, for example, it can't finish the process to book a meeting, Sidekick is gonna ask you, you know, and in, in the user, the Sidekick user you, you're gonna have to, you know, decide what to do next, right? Because there are a couple times where it might get hung up. You know, if somebody just doesn't reply, you know, you put Sidekick and you send Sidekick to go book a meeting, somebody just doesn't book it, right um, you know here's where action items will come up we also have a you know 1.0 recent activity 
Um, so here you can see some of the activity that is happening with your, your sidekick, your, your booking you know, uh, sidekick bot. And uh, that is the quick overview of the sidekick platform. If you go on YouTube, we do have more explainers, more tutorials. Um, again, I just wanted to run over this quick with you. Say thank you so much for joining the, uh, the free trial. And if you have any questions, just you know, fill out up here a support ticket or you know, email us. You can email me. It's right here, chris at sidekickai.com. And uh, we look forward to getting your feedback. And uh, we have a lot of, lot of updates to make on this. So if you go to our website, you can scroll down and see Roadmap and see what we have coming up. All right, I look forward to getting your feedback and uh, enjoy the Sidekick AI experience.